Hello everybody, welcome back to Witch's Heart. Last time we continued the serious route, and well, you know, we kind of threatened us a little bit. So we're here in my little room, so we have to figure out what we're going to do next. Hello, do you have anything new to say? Oh, you do, alright, cool. What's all this? Now, what are you doing? Ah, oh, serious, hello. I'm sorting out my research on the witch. Oh, you're free to look at it over if you want. I assembled it for my own purposes, but... Makes it my goal that everyone should be able to look at it and grasp it, you see? Yeah. Oh. Come to think of it, serious. Is, uh, Miss Dorothy your relative? Uh. Haha. <laughs> Maybe. Well, didn't I ask you yesterday if this is Miss Dorothy's mansion? Why are you calling yourself the owner? So then, I suppose you might be a relative of hers. Yeah, I've been kind of suspicious of that. You're that curious about it. Yes, I'm incredibly curious. It's all I've been thinking about ever since. That's how curious I am. <laughs> eh, a stubborn man. If I can answer this one question, will it make you sit still for a bit? Indeed. I vow not to move a muscle for ten minutes. I'll breathe and blink as little as possible. Okay, I don't think you need to do that. Not what I meant in the least. Between you and Claire, I'm seriously tired of dealing with fools. <laughs> he is just so tired of everyone's crap. You see, Lady Dorothy is... Oh, not a relative of mine. Oh? Of yours? No, nothing. Forget it. Is it only Claire's relative, maybe? I don't know, maybe. <laughs> uh, I see, I see. Interesting. I knew they had some sort of connection. Due to how much... Ser seems to care about Lady Dorothy. Hmm. Guess we'll see. Let's see. For lunch, uh, what should I make? Oh, let's do curry. Alright. Oh, here we go. That's enough left eye. Okay, yep. This game. Yo, my one of my favorite games. I right, gotta wait for that little spark to appear. Yeah. All right. Oh, there we go. I think we did perfect. Yeah. I think we did a good job there. <laughs> it's done. All right, let's serve it to them. Listen, my own town scares me sometimes. <laughs> I can't wait to serve it to everyone. Maybe you can work for Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> what did you put in this to make it so flavorful? Just applied honey and red wine. I see. Indeed delicious. No kidding. This is tasty stuff. <laughs> hmm. uh, well, it's not bad, I suppose. Eh, expect response from you. <laughs> I'm proud of what I made today. Yeah, you should be. I'm assuming we got S? Yeah, we got S. 5,000 coins. Good for you, Claire. Perfect dish. Good, good luck keeping, up w w keeping it up like that. I think I can. I'm getting kind of used to it. Oh my god. I like that. Very nice. Alright. It's kind of lonely, huh? What's the matter, Claire? You can say all of us have a common destiny of sorts, right? What happened? We happen to meet each other here. I wish we could be more friendly. Yeah, true. It's not as if, as if they came here to make friends. That's why, true. <laughs> Understand that, but I mean they have no right to be an a-hole. Besides, it's that's what you think. I think you should take action yourself, Zell. That's right. This isn't like me at all. I'll do my best. You can try. I think they'll probably reject you though. All right, let's try. I guess we're gonna try to make friends with them. All right, let's try you. Nope, I guess not. Oh. Hello. All right, let's talk to you. That's right. I found an interesting book earlier. It's a cookbook called The Recipes for the in Improvised Queen. It tells you how to make classy meals with cheap ingredients. Perhaps you'd like to read it, Miss Claire. Right. Miss Claire, you need something from me? All right, let's talk to you. A recipe could be delicious with some white wine. <laughs> I guess we could try that next time, perhaps. Alright, I don't think I need to really try you, but I'm just gonna try just in case. Yep. Alright. There's some on rare occasions that door opens. Alright, do you have anything new to say? What do you want? If it's about Ash, I won't hear a word. 
<laughs> Won't these doors open already and get you all out of here? Oh, okay. I'll talk to you some more. What, you still intend to stay here? Go on and leave. Well, I'm sorry to bother you again. Oh. Lady Lime summons you. Oh. Lady Lime summons you. Okay. Lady Lime summons you. Alright, I guess we just follow what you're doing. Oh. Oh. Alrighty. <laughs> you're just leading me to the door. Okay, there we go. Whoa. Okay. This is completely different. Invitation. Dear Lady Zazel and Lady Claire. Tonight you are invited to a wonderful tea party. Oh boy. Please come to my room once night falls. Well, then I'll be looking forward to it, Lime. What's this? Perhaps you obtained some good tea leaves. <laughs> I'm excited. I wonder what's, what, why my name's on it, too. Why and tea. Might as well go, don't you think? Obtain an invitation. Alrighty, cool. I guess we're going to that tonight. That's certainly going to be interesting indeed. <laughs> to see what's going to happen there. Oh, well, you made a mason of your papers. <laughs> Hello. Whoa, that's a lot of papers. Is this all your research on the witch? Yes, it is. Every last page. By the way, Miss Claire, I recall you weren't very familiar with the witch Dorothy, were you? Shall I teach you, seeing as we're here? I think it's good to know for someone living in this country. Yes, I guess so. If you insist, I suppose you can teach me. All right. Understood. In that case, I'll be your teacher, Mr. Ash. Okay, Mr. Ash. <laughs> I love how she just goes along with him. Uh huh. Now I'm getting kind of excited. Well then. <laughs> All right. The truth is, 12 years ago, there was a massacre carried out by the witch Dorothy in this very mansion. Here. Yep. Yes. The victims were town mayor Nicholas and his subordinates, 26 people in all. Yeah. Oh. So the bodies were a pit in a pitiful state. They were in pieces, organs carved out. Ugh. Dorothy appeared to enjoy using the remains to decorate the room. I suppose killing them wasn't enough. She was a hengeous witch after all. Yeah, definitely. Ew. For, for some reason, she went missing after the incident. Why is that? No one knows. Some theorize she ran away, but I can't I agree with that myself. What do you mean? Well, uh, you see, since Dorothy disappeared, a strange rumor sprung sprung up in her place. Strange rumor? Ah! People who reported seeing the terrifying fleshy monster in this mansion. Yeah. I've seen that a few times. Wait, could that be? I imagine it's the same monster that you mentioned, Miss Claire. And I... Oh. I believe that the monster is... In truth, the witch Dorothy herself. Oh. Serious came here. Hello. Seems like you're having a fun conversation. Not really. <laughs> We're having a little bit of a dark conversation here. Oh. What are you doing? Oh. What is Ash doing? An inhumane witch who murdered 26 people 12 years ago. Dorothy is in fun, is in fact the fleshy monster. <laughs> What is this? She wrote this? It's not funny. Oh. Ugh. Ugh, that's a- Oh! Oh, damn! You bitch slapped him. Oh. <laughs> uh, Clash. You don't even know a single thing. You don't even think it's bizarre to just decide that, that to be evil. Ugh. You know something, don't you? You never saw it for yourself. You take out information- Take outside information as fact. Everyone like you is an utter fool. So very, very foolish. Sorry? <laughs> this is why I hate outsiders. They're all selfish. Just being around you pains me. Well, I can get out of here. Okay, then leave the room. Oh, well, I guess I'm doing that just now. <laughs> Ugh. Got him mad. Are you okay, Ash? Guess I'll be fine. Deciding it to be evil when you don't know anything. Sure, maybe it's not a good idea to have your thoughts influenced just by a little information. But wouldn't it just be as strange to decide she's a good person despite not despite knowing nothing? Anyway, I can't believe he got so angry. I think Sirius must be a wit witch inheritant. Witch inheritant. Yes, some consider themselves followers of the witch. 
I mean, aren't though there some who blindly believe in something terrifying, like a strange cult? Maybe foolish, but these sorts exist. Uh, ouch, I feel lousy. Oh, you all right, Ash? You can lay in bed if you need to. All right, that was sort of interesting. Huh, make amends, but uh, these were not a good match. Oh, I don't know about. Sirius is always like, eh. Oh, more talking. Sirius is always like, I don't want to deal with any of you. Huh, it's Claire. He's definitely, I want to know what he's hiding. I guess we'll probably learn that by the end of this route. Eh, what was that? Why'd he come out of Noelle's room? All right, well, it doesn't matter. For now, I should catch up to Sirius. Oh, we're going to actually go up to him. Oh, boy. He's not going to be any happy. He's going to be like, ah, oh, god damn it, stupid idiots always bothering me. Oh, wow. I guess we have to. All right, let's see what you're up to now. What's up with that? Freaking Noel and Willardo, though. Excuse me, Sirius. Uh... Oh. Dun, 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 dun. All right, I guess we'll see that conversation later, maybe. All right. Oh, no, wait, never mind. We just flipped characters. Never mind. <laughs> All righty. Guess we're going to interrogate him. Why did you come here for? Say to, to say apologize to Ash, perhaps? Oh, well, I understand how you feel. But I thought hitting him was too much. The way she sticks her nose and everything. I always hated that about her. She's just trying to help. You don't know anything. Irritating. Okay, if I don't know everything, tell me something. Don't have to tell me the whole thing 12 years ago. Oh, here we go. After Claire Alford left the Mantis Mansion. Here we go. Oh, God. It's this scene again. Oh, my. It's awful. Here, that gruesome incident took place. I can never forgive them. The ringleader of the incident who put all the blame on Lady Dorothy. As well as... Oh, the monster who ate her. Oh, so the monster did kill her. You believe him too, don't you? Eh. You think Lady Dorothy did all that, don't you? Oh, uh, well, whatever I say, no one will believe it. You're the same as the rest of them. Oof. I guess you only heard from others about that Lady Dorothy's a Hindus, which, yes. It's not as if you had ever witnessed her killing someone. Yeah, true, I guess. And after that incident, I kept desperately telling people Lady Dorothy was not the culprit. Yes, yet I was young at the time. Everyone so distantly as a child's nonsense. I couldn't care less about what becomes of this girl who finally just have now returned. But Lady Dorothy would care. She would always worry for her. Long even after she disappeared. That's why the least I could ask. I want you at the very least to not speak badly of Lady Dorothy. Please don't swept under by those rumors. Cross reference will not be repaid. Wouldn't that just be too cruel? Oh, man. Um... So you're saying Lady Dorothy was falsely accused? Seems to be the case. And who the frick actually did it? <laughs> you want to say something to me, you can just say it. It's hard to say, it's just... Just say what you can. I'll listen. Oh. <laughs> yes, that's right. The kind of person she was. Yeah, sheesh. You're beyond simple. You'll just become you'll just believe anyone, won't you? Huh? <laughs> the whole host of reasons I can't talk about everything right now. But when things are ready, I may want to tell you the truth. Oh. Knows if you're pretty willing to understand, however. Look, I won't deny I'm not the brightest, but I'll tell you soon. Work your little mind to the fullest when I do. Alright, I'll can try. Jeez, you always have to be so mean about it. I understand, okay. They're like complete polar opposites. <laughs> Claire always tries to be nice about things, and Sirius is like, ugh. I guess we'll see how much she changes after she learns the truth, maybe. 
wonder if that'll have any sort of influence. Oh. Huh. Ah. Good morning, Rouge. Same as ever. Just possible awakening. Oh. Is she still safe? I see. That's good, then. Interesting. Alright, let's see. Oh, wow. Okay, you just spawned literally right next to me. Alright, I'm just gonna check these doors. Nope. No, I don't wanna check this twice. Alright. Lock. Okay. Maybe we go to Sirius's room instead. Lock. Everything's locked. Okay. Oh, I guess we go in here. Oh, yep, we do go in here. Let's see. Do you have anything to say? Ah, oh, Noel. Good morning. I suppose it's good evening, isn't it? <laughs> About to say, hold up. Uh, hey, you. Oof. What's the matter? <laughs> no, it's nothing. I just talked to you. You just got up. You just got. Nah. I can't speak. I'm sorry. You just now got up. <laughs> I'll hurry up and take a seat. Alright, hey, Claire. Uh, hey, now. Noel. And the seat next to me is free. Alright, let's have a nice discussion here. That's it's gonna probably give me another creepy discussion. Ah, uh, is your check swallowed or something? Huh? Wow, it is. You okay? Huh? <laughs> Just stumbled. I'm fine. Please don't worry about it. Oh, oh my ass! <laughs> How clumsy would it be that you trip and hit your cheek like that? Come up with a better lie. <laughs> I got too carried away. Is that's all? That's the food. Sure is tasty tonight. Claire must know something too, but she's real bad at hiding it. <laughs> it's my fault. Oh, your words truly did make my blood boil. But I think I went too far considering the, your ignorance in the matter. Yo, he's actually apologizing. Serious? Oh, <laughs> it's okay. It's my fault too. I'm not bothered. Very true. You were to blame in the first place. <laughs> wow. Oh. <laughs> wow. At least they made up, sort of, in the end. That's nice, at least. Alright, I think we're gonna be Claire now, because we're gonna have a tea party, I guess. Or not yet. Okay. <laughs> we still see what Sirius is up to now. Oh. Here we go. Hello. Listen, I'll allow you to leave your room now. Never do such a thing ever again, or else I will will throw you out the window. Serious? You're forgiving me? All right, thank you so much. I'll be sure to get get your permission for anything in the future. All right, that's nice at least that they were able to make up. All right, hello. What's up? Need something? Nothing. Leave me alone. I want to do some thinking. All right, I guess I'll just leave you alone then. All right, do I have to talk to Claire then? Ow, okay, let me attack you. <laughs> All right, did I go in your room? Locked. Well, should be in here, yes. I do my best not to force the door open, but if I call him, I may have to wait out here. Can I defeat these monsters first? Oh, shoot, ugh. Ugh, monsters, I hate them. All right, I guess I'll, I should actually save <laughs> before we get into a fight on accident. Ow, yep. All right, defeated all the peoples. All right, cool. Or demons. <laughs> oh, we're actually gonna be able to go inside this time. Day one, night. Oh. Oh, whoa. Yes. It says you suspect. She really is Claire. She has no memory of the past. Not of me or you or Miss Dorothy. She's forgotten it all. Oh no. Why? Please. And you refrain from telling Claire the truth. Because she's no good at lying. If others find out the truth about her, she'll be killed for sure. Yeah. <laughs> that already happened. What does he mean by... Sh what does she mean? She'll be killed by who exactly? It's better she doesn't know the truth. If she can leave here without knowing. If he told me this, he looked terribly exhausted. There was so much he didn't sit that didn't sit right honestly, but I chose to follow his instructions and say nothing to Claire. Noel, what do you know? 
what you afraid of? What about you want to remain forgotten by her? Better to not know, better to stay forgotten. I can't think that's true. That's why I'll talk with him tonight. And tomorrow I'll tell Claire the truth. Oh. Yo, whatever it is, it's clearly going to severely affect her. I can tell. That can't be. I thought. It's the only way I left. What the heck is who is he talking to? There's really no other way. Does he have another does he have like a ghost like like I do with Zazel or Claire has with Zazel? Maybe the only way really is to kill Claire. You really, Noel? Kill Claire. Oh. Well, unless you're just talking to me, I don't know. Oh, I'm serious. What is it? Oh, I guess he... <laughs> Maybe he was talking to another ghost person. Who are you? Were you talking to someone? No. Don't want you lying. Do you need me? No. It's nothing. Yikes. Okay. What's the meaning of this? I didn't think Noel would get suspicious like that. There's no one else in... Noel's room. Who in the world is he talking to? And now I think about it. I haven't a clue what he came to this mansion for. What is this about killing? Oh, what the heck? Okay, now I don't really trust him with that face. Should I really trust him, Joker looking ass? <laughs> I'm sorry. But damn, that's creepy with the lipstick. <laughs> Bruh, I hope he doesn't turn out to be bad, like a bad person. Oh, man. Oh, I'm refreshed. Claire, you remember the invitation we received from Lime? Oh, yeah, we're gonna go to that now. Like, yes, we did get that. <laughs> Shall we go together then? Of course, it should be fun with you, Zazel. Oh. Alright, cool. Alright, fulfill the wishes of the Triple Demon. Let's do it. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you. Even though it's not really Christmas right now. Hello. There's a recreation of the anger that happened 12 years ago. Oh. Oh my. Can we like interact with these? A corpse torn to pieces. I think they'll all say the same thing. All right, yeah. All right, what are you, what are you dancing about? Ah. Everyone's dead, murdered. Only a witch could do such a, something so humane. Culprit is that witch. It has to be. No mercy, no mercy, no mercy. Alright, it is very likely not the witch Dorothy we thought it would have been. It's probably someone else, but who? If I did this... I don't... Is it a bad theory to say that Claire did this? Might have... <laughs> I don't know. But they're trying so hard to hide it from us. I don't know, maybe. Just an idea. Oh boy, if, they, if that does happen. Oh, what? Okay, it infinitely loops. Okay, I see the problem here. Hello, my, 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 Miss Claire. Did you need me? Let's talk. I see, Miss Claire. It's all right with you. I'd like to come inspect your room tomorrow. Oh, for the witch research? Of course, I don't mind. Yay, all right. I'm looking forward to it. All right. I guess he's coming to my room tomorrow. Hello. What's up? Need something? If not, leave me alone. I want to do some thinking. Okay. What are you thinking about? I guess we'll see in a little bit, maybe. Ugh. Hello. How are you feeling? I know things have been rough, but I can tell you... But tell me if I can help in any way. Alright, let's talk. Oh, boy. Come to think of it, tonight's a full moon. Oh, boy. Given the situation... This, given the situation, it feels mis mi mystical. Oh boy, Noel. I don't know what to think of you right now. Ah, frick. Oh, here we go. Oh, hello, Charlotte. Oh, what did you run away for? All right, I guess we'll go after you. What are you doing? Oh, oh, that's creepy. There's a big, is that like an eye or what? Or a black hole? I'm getting sucked in. Oh no. Where, where are we going? Oh, 
What's going on here? Lime always likes to be flashy, doesn't she? I guess this is where the tea party is, I guess. Oh, whoa. Whoa. Where are we going? We just traveled to another dimension. Okay, this music though. Oh. Whoa. What the heck is this? Quite the effort she put in giving us costume change. Yeah. Well, let's go. Interesting. Alright, I guess we'll see what this whole world's all about. Or Oh. What's the first time that happened when we were doing the witch hunting thing? The fulfilling the wishes and then that happened. Interesting. Alright, that's cool. That's what I thought. Oh Kill Claire. Joker Newell is back. Uh I just have to forget about it. Oh, absolutely inconceivable that Noelle would try to kill Claire. Oh, no. What's that? Huh, what's this? Well, that's right. It's the diatrin ether I concealed with Lady Dorothy. I have no idea what that is. Come to think of it, what it not also Lady Dorothy who taught me how to how it was made? But wait, the sweet smell. I feel as if I've... Oh. Oh. Ew. Huh. Ah. This is what I smelled last night. Deathral ether is used in aesthetics. But taking a large dose of it would no doubt render one unconscious. Don't tell me, did Ash intend to put me to sleep? Thanks to my special training with Lady Dorothy, I've resisted to medicine. Perhaps it worked poorly, thus I woke up. Still, though, why take it so far? In fact, why would he do such a thing in the first place? It's Ash. He'll do anything. Now I think back. There are many Ill other illogical points. Indeed, I could have sworn I locked my door last night, and yet... Did he unlock? Probably just broke in by picking the lock, perhaps. Is he a locksmith? Ugh. Why? Would you do such... Would you do that just to see some books? That's bizarre. It's very bizarre indeed. Between Ash Duell earlier, perhaps I don't know anything about anyone. Man. Oh. Who's there? Oh, it's Willardo. Hello. <laughs> Yo. Oh, why you say it like that with that face? Oh, no. What is Willardo doing? Uh, everyone in this game is so suspicious. <laughs> I like it though, not gonna lie. Makes me not want to trust anyone. And we've been proven that we can't trust everyone multiple times so far. All right, what are you? Waiting, waiting, Lime is waiting. Oh, I guess this is the tea party we were uh, having to attend. All right, let's try not to fall off the cliff. We can't. I'm, all right, I'm not even gonna bother try falling off the cliff. If I fall off the cliff, it ends up being an accident. Oh, well, we got all this money. How much are those? Like, ah, well, I end up falling off. <laughs> Great. Oh, what is this? A magical cupcake? Hungry, hungry. <laughs> ah, gosh darn it. <laughs> ah. <laughs> oh, yay, we got 100 coins. All right, nice. All right, that's how much it's worth. Oh, boy, it's starting to get really thin here. No! <laughs> Oh, dang it. I was so close. Okay. Oh. Alrighty. Guess this is where we are. Whoa, yay. This is a nice little area. Alright, let's talk to this thing first before we talk to the other two. Oh. I, I'm a freshly baked cupcake. Well, she's got set on fire, so you're probably just burnt now. Hello. Well, I'm sure is amazing. She spent half the day preparing this tea party. Hey, I get get bored midway for sure. Alrighty. Hello. Welcome, Zell and Claire. Did you bring your invitations? What's all this about? Yeah, cute, huh? Hey, you know Alice in Wonderland? Yes. It's this book I read the other day. I thought it was so cute, so I prepared all this stuff. Okay, Claire, you sit there across from me. Um, okay. I guess we'll go along with it. Oh. Uh. Did I hit with something? Ah. Got you. Poppin' cushion. Oh, wow. 
So it was worth ordering for that one. <laughs> oh man, I'm just here to torment me. Alright, I thought today we would have an informal gathering between us and Claire. Yay, yay! But what are they clapping for? <laughs> By the way, I didn't do anything. By the way, I'm Chester Clat. Char Charlie is March Hare, Zell is Mad Hatter, and Claire is Alice. I guess you could call this a girls' night out. Let's have a girls' talk, everyone! By Lunas. <laughs> but Lunas is forgiven. Uh, talk about what? Eh, good point. As the host, I gotta. Guess I gotta decide. <laughs> All right, Claire, I guess we didn't really decide anything before starting this, I guess. Tell us about yourself. It's just all improv. Ugh. I know plenty about Charlotte, Charlie and Zazelle. I don't know anything about you. Oh, I guess. All right, time for Claire ask me anything. Oh, I'm getting interrogated. If anyone's got any questions for Claire, ask away. Huh? For instance, how about which one of us do you like the most? Oh, oh shoot, I have to answer this. Uh, I've seen the most of Zazelle, and Zazelle's kind of funny. I guess Zazelle, she's been helping me the most. My, you have good taste, thank you. Praise won't get you anything, anything though. I didn't expect to get anything out of it. Eh, you two get along so well, makes me jelly. I just answered it because I had to. Come to think of it, Claire, where do you live? I built a hut in the woods near town, so I live there. Oh, you built it? Alone? That's cool. Yes, by myself. Whoa. Why not live in a town instead of the woods? Why are you by yourself? Eh. Yeah, well, I was an abandoned child. I don't have any blood relatives. Saying, yeah, abandoned? Poor thing, that must have been so hard. Yeah, poor Claire. Nah. It's not really like that, but at least Claire was able to handle herself on her own. There's something who took me in, even though they had no relation. But you still live by yourself now? Why is that? People who took me left the world four years ago. Oh. They said I could keep the house, but I felt lonely staying there by myself. I felt lonely staying there by myself. I felt awkward being alone in the busy town, so I built a hut in the woods. I felt like living among nature would make me less lonely. You want to see your parents, Claire? Oh. Oh, who knows? I can't really say. I don't even remember them. Parents abandon you? Do you hate them? No way. I'm sure they have their reason. Oh. Well, I mean, even if they didn't, I don't think I'd have a grudge. You're real soft, aren't you? Look, it doesn't matter either way, right? It's not like she'll ever meet them. You're saying it like I will. <laughs> Unless they come for me, I'll surely never know. You don't think that's why you were abandoned? Nah. I mean, I wouldn't get an answer, would I? Oh, why the music cut? You don't want to know the truth. Uh -huh. <gasps> Everyone's like, Claire does not want to know the truth. It's not a good idea for her to know the truth. This is <laughs> getting madly suspicious. Oh, gosh. What? Uh, what's happening? <laughs> eh. What? It must be Rouge. Upset about the only one left out. <laughs> eh. Is she really that type to be bothered by stuff like that? I want her to join in myself. Now perhaps she's just irritated to see us having fun without her. How selfish is that? Really, she's like the queen of hearts. She is this really a time for chatter? Let's jump out of here. Alright. Ah! Oh, I guess we just teleported out, I think. Or just teleport somewhere else. Ooh, that was one heck of a girl's night. <laughs> Loaded with thrills. Can't stay here for long. Perhaps we should finish up quickly. Alright, wait, wait, wait up. But everyone's dressed up all cute. How about we snap a photo for the memory? <laughs> Alright, perhaps we can allow time for that. Alright, sounds good. Let's take a photo. Alright, I'll go along with that. Alrighty then. Caramel, stand by. Oh. Yo, they just teleported a camera in here. Oh, <laughs> a living camera. That's cool, now everyone get real close. And what's this moldy milk you got? You got. Hey, cheese! And nice. <laughs> Alright. And we're back to our normal life. Alright, I'll see you, Claire. Alright, see you later. Next time we meet, we'll 
probably be in hell. Okay, then. Oh, boy. Oh. As we wake up here. This would wake up somewhere nice. Oh, that was one of the objective thingies. All right, I guess we do still continue it. Hello, everyone. Gluten. Right, that was certainly an interesting. This is the home where my children live. All right, I guess we got to do one more. All right, what? Ah, all right, let's talk to you. It's my dream to fill this world with flowers. <laughs> all right, I don't know where we could get flowers, but I'd like to help if I could. Oh, that lavender, how pretty. Give that to me, please. All right, here, you can have it. How pretty, <laughs> All righty, yay, we did it. All righty, cool. All right, it's nighttime now, so I'm assuming we just go to my room now and go to bed, or not. Oh. Oh. Bro, really? Sirius died again? Oh, we got right to the forehead. Oh, that's awful. De Will he not die for once? Oh, freaking you did this. Yo. Oh my gosh, Wallerdo. You showed up quite close. Wallerdo, you're honestly scarier than Ash. I'm not going to lie to you. But you're a second too late. Although I see it, when I see it, I couldn't ask you a better situation. Oh god, now you're just gonna blow me to a hundred thousand pieces. It's too bad you'll have to die at knowing nothing, but you can curse your blood. Oh gosh, farewell. If, wait, what did it say? Oh, you... F wow. Well, Lardo is just out for blood. Oh my gosh. Ash is too. I don't know why. They're both. <laughs> They're both. They're both very cruel to say the least. But I feel like all cruel, scary kind of in a way. Well, Lardo is honestly kind of scary or a little bit more. But they're both pretty cool characters though. I won't lie. Oh man, didn't work out, did it? Oh well, it happens. Seeing as it and as legendary treasure that grants any wish. No matter what you do, there's always gonna be someone who wants it. Dang, do we really just die like that? Tell me, do you have a wish you'd be willing to kill for? Paul Erdo certainly does. Well, the hell, Claire. Oh. Excuse me? Am I going to hell now? Was Lime not lying and saying we're gonna meet up in hell? Oh. Oh. Wait, hold up. Am I still alive? Might be. Oh, wait, no. Just the afterlife. Eh. Where is this? Ah. Oh, okay, I am injured. All right, can I run? Oh, I can just fully sprint. <laughs> That's funny. All right, go on your way. I will certainly do that. Oh, what is this? Locked. Do they have to get a key for that, I'm assuming? Oh, what the heck? Yo. What is he doing here? Serious. Oh. Guess he went to the same place as I did when we died. Oh, it's this place. Good. You're alive. You okay? Oh. Don't touch me. Whoa. Dang. You're gonna betray me too, aren't you? I'm sick and tired of being tricked. Indeed, I can't trust a single human. Stay away from me. Oh. Serious. Something strange about him. I need to go after him. Well, I mean, he did just get absolutely shot by Wallerdo after thinking you could trust him. Alright. Ow. No, I'm gonna follow you. As long I think as long as I follow him, I think we'll be fine. Okay, stop running from me. Uh alright. Hello? Oh. You wanna talk? Talk to me, please. Hold up, we can figure this out maybe. Ah. Say hey, serious. Shut up, let me go. Ow. Oh, I guess we have to keep going. Alright, just gonna keep going after him. I'm sorry, serious. 
what I have to do. Oh, here we go. Oh. Serious. Uh. Ow. Let go, you stupid brute. Oh. And stop running, okay? Something's weird with you. When the world happened. Weird. Me? It's you who's acting bizarre. Uh. Ash. Well, well, there They're acting absurdly. Yeah, I won't deny that. They were all nothing but evil. I was afraid humans aren't to be trusted. Acting bizar bizarrely. Why? There's no why about it. They are simply are. I, so I know I, you must be evil too. You're my enemy. You're trying to trick me. Ugh. How do you figure that? I'm not sh sure about that. Claire's been the most honest one so far. I've had it. I've fed up. I don't want to put my hope into anything or have to betray me. Um. Ah, uh, why? 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 Why does it always have. Ha who's. Why does it have always me who has to suffer all this? Uh, serious? Shut up, don't talk to me. Things turn to. Things took a turn for the worse to start with you because you left the mansion. Everything went wrong. Even though you went. You know nothing, even though you've seen nothing, even though you've forgotten everything. Excuse me? It's all your fault. I can't understand. You can't understand how I feel. It's the likes of you could never. Oh. Ah, listen to me. Whoa. Dang. Uh. I'm telling you. Just tell me. Because I don't get it. You, don't you have... Don't, didn't you say yesterday you were going to tell me everything? Now stop grumbling yourself already. Oh, damn. You think something's my fault, you can just hit me with it, alright? <laughs> if it means hurting me, then fine. Dang. Alright. Still, I do have a heart. So please, be gentle. Oh, <laughs> stop shouting, my ears are ringing. You're loud enough as it is. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, huh. well, you're skeptical, a moron, and not bright. Well, dang. All of those mean the same thing. How badly do you want to insult me? <laughs> so even so... So even if you were evil too, I think those people will all be fooled by you. Well, I'm not evil in the first place. I don't intend to trick you. Really? If you're lying, I'll eat a thousand... I'll make you eat a thousand needles. Whatever, a thousand or ten thousand, I'll eat them for you. <laughs> I love Flair. She just, just goes along with it. You really are stupid, aren't you? No, life's easier that way, right? Now, tell me only what you want to tell me. I go, no. I put it off long enough. I'll tell you everything. Alright, about Ash Waller de Noel. And about myself. About Lady Dorothy. Alright. Thought it was going to be something about me as well. Alright, here we go. Da -na -na. Whoa, this is a cool background. Alrighty. Here we go. The truth is gonna finally come out, I think. Somewhere well, oh, what Sirius told me. First, apparently he apparently heard Newell talking about someone about to kill about killing me. Next he realized Ash was in possession of the anesthetic, and while he was dealing with that with that realization. Well, I suddenly sh appeared in his room and shot him. And also... Yeah. <laughs> Everyone's just going against us, it appears. The truth is, I'm not the owner of this mansion. Eh, I kind of figured that. <sighs> the, the true owner of this mansion is Dorothy Alford. Oh, Alford. I own this mansion? I, Claire? Oh, grandmother. Your grandmother. What? Wait, Dorothy, like, her? My grandmother? What? While the public claims Lord Lady Dorothy is heinous, which and whatnot, it's far from the truth. She's a very, very kind person. She's absolutely not a killer. She was just falsely accused. The real villain here, the town mayor, Nicholas. Nicholas? Yes, the culprit of the incident 12 years ago. No, all this, all the incidents around Lady Dorothy. He do anything to further his own goals. He quietly killed those who got in his way and blamed it all on the witches. He deceived the populace with death words. And over time they came to despise witches they didn't exist. 
long before Nicholas be came to blood to blame witches for droughts, earthquakes, and floods, even illnesses eventually. The people took every one of those lies as truth. Not only that, they themselves would blame any unhappiness around them on witches. I suppose it's easier to be able to blame someone else for those things. Indeed. But this was simply out of hand. Nick later, Nicholas began to declare those who oppress or impede him to be witches so he can execute them. So this witch so the witches hunt the witch hunt began. By the time the people were quite trusting of Nicholas. So they were went along with the executions. They went along with killing people? This truly was bizarre. When someone went up to be executed, they were feverishly cheers. He executed my father and my mother too. Oh dang. Darn. We're serious. After I left without a family, it was Lady Dorothy who took me in. She too had lost someone to the witch hunt, her daughter. Oh. Her daughter, of course, being your mother. I see. So my mother's to that. Lady Dorothy took care of you. And the three of us began to live together. Yet soon, for some reason, Nicholas put his eyes on Lady Dorothy. What? What? Oh no. It's not as if we have any real intention of bringing, bringing harm to him. And most unluckily, Nicholas decided to call Lady Dorothy the leader of the witches. Of course, people believed it. Called Lady Dorothy, he called for Lady Dorothy's execution. After that, it was a nightmare. Nicholas and his lackey stormed this mansion. Oh. He shot Lady Dorothy full of holes. I thought, I thought I'd be shot too. And at that moment, a monster appeared. Oh. I don't know, quite remember anything past that. When I came to, everyone else was dead. Oh, that monster killed them all. That's the truth about the incident 12 years ago. Arn. I suppose Miss Dorothy must also be dead then. Uh, well, I'm not actually sure. Indeed, it certainly looked as if she had been dead then. She looked dead? Before Lady Dorothy died, I told... She told me, I'll come back. But, well, after it was over... As I sat there dumbfounded, that monstrous mass of flesh appeared, ate Lady Dorothy's body and nothing else, and disappeared somewhere. I've been looking for it ever since, so I can defeat it and bring Lady Dorothy back. So we can live together again, just like we used to. Oh, that's sad. I can't believe it. Why did I forget all this when it's so important? Arn. Alrighty. Oh boy, what's Noelle doing now? Oh. It's gonna go down, it's gonna infinitely loop. Yep. It's like the Mario 64 staircase, just infinite. <laughs> Shoot. I can't go down to the first floor. Where in the world is Claire? Is she safe right now? You looked everywhere on the second floor. Yes, I have. She was nowhere to be found. Of course, I have checked the attic. She must be on the first floor. As you can see, I can't go down. Can't you do something? What would... Who would have this done? Zal, Charlotte, Lime? Oh. Hello. Lime. This is your doing. Why are you always getting my way? <laughs> Some fun is going on. The stairs are out to out of order. Thanks. I'm begging you, let me through. So much time left until dawn. I don't want to. Just stick a finger in your mouth and watch the sunrise like you always do. That's what suits you best. <laughs> oh, the situation's already beyond repair. You know, it's over, over, all over. Too bad, so sad. But come on, give up already. Let's just. Let ju just let everyone be unhappy, just like me. Whoa. Okay. Or <laughs> back to serious aside. Oh. 
daytime now or morning. Oh, all right, we're back here. Well then, I've got to escape from here quickly. Alrighty. I've been going, I've been recording for well over an hour. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. This is definitely getting really interesting. I think this is turning out to be my favorite route so far. And I'm starting to really like Sirius too. Like I always enjoyed his character, but I'm really starting to get invested in this character now a lot more. He's certainly very interesting to say the least. And I'm not sure about Newell yet. I can't tell if that was just Sirius's perspective of Newell, just him being a bad person. He might not actually be bad after all, maybe initially. He might be good, and they tried to make me think it was bad, and he's going back to good. I guess we'll see in the next episode. So thank you guys for watching this video. If you liked it, you know what to do. And of course, I'll see y'all next video. Bye!